I'm Birok, well, Mike Birok of the Paper Jets. I'm the new guy. Um, I used to be their tech, and then they kind of suckered me into being part of the band. So here I am. Um, so we're recording the new album, Every Day Forever, and we're going to show you some of the stuff that I use. So, uh, don't let me get up. So what I got here is um, I have a pair of uh, Telecaster style builds. Um, these are these are guitars that I built myself um, for this album and, and the shows coming up uh, in support of the album. Um, I usually use vintage Yamahas and um, mostly Yamahas from the 60s and early 70s, but I took a break from that and decided I wanted to make something that had my name on the headstock. So I. I uh, got back into building guitars. So this is just a simple Telecaster. I built this yesterday, actually, and today was the maiden voyage. Uh, it's a simple black double-bound Telecaster. Um, it's got a really uh, inexpensively built pickup. Uh, relic hardware, uh, kind of a kind of funky controls. I'm not going to go into it too much, but it's, it's a dual volume control for this guitar, and um, this switch makes it sound anywhere from meaty to really twangy. Kind of unique. Use it on most of the, the tracking today. The other guitar here is a, this white one. Is um, same thing. Telecaster build. It's got a neck pickup on it. A little more traditional in style. Um, strung with thicker strings. I use 10 to 52s on the black one, and this one has a, a 12 to 56. So it's a little more meaty tone. So had some fun with that. A couple overdubs. It's got a couple tracks. This is no exaggeration. This is half of my pedal board. <laughs> I didn't feel like bringing my entire pedal board because I wasn't using all the effects. So this is a, a spattering of my pedals. I run into a OKKO uh, variable boost uh, buffer. Uh, does very little to, to my tone. It's not really an effect, but it just strengthens the signal to run to the rest of the pedals that are on my, my board. Um, I run from that into a Selmo sardine can compressor. That's a compressor and uh, a boost as well. Um, kind of fun. French made pedal. Um, and I have my iPhone, which doesn't get plugged in, but it's there. Uh, I run into, then I run into an Ernie Ball uh, volume pedal junior, the VP junior, just for volume swells and fun stuff like that. Then right into an Ernie Ball uh, wah. I don't think there are many guitar players out there that like this pedal, but I love it. I bought it for dirt cheap, and it was a, my first wah pedal getting back in the band, so I'm like, ah, I use it on a lot of stuff. Probably my staple for almost everything I do with the Paper Jets, uh, um, uh, Electro Harmonics Pog. I used to use a Pog Micro, which was kind of the in-between of the two pedals here. Um, but since then I got the Big Boy, which is the Pog 2, and it has a bunch of presets on there. So I can, I can sound like an organ. <laughs> So I run from that into um, uh, one of two fuzz pedals. Uh, the first one that I used uh, primarily today was a Sub Decay Flying Tomato. I think it's technically called the Mutant Flying Tomato, but uh, it's a really nasty, gnarly type of sputtery fuzz. And Um, then I run into a, it, it, so I either run into that or um, the Fuzzly Bear by a company called KMA. Uh, really rare pedal, it's Russian, it's weird three knob fuzz pedal. I got it because the, the, the character on the front looks like my dog Jacob, and he's got two LEDs for the eyes and they glow when you turn it on. It's just really kick ass to see a bear yelling at you on your pedal board. Um, it sounds good too. So then I run into um, another newer addition to my board, which is a uh, Solid Gold FX Apollo Phaser. Um, I like it's got a tap tempo on there. It has an expression pedal option. It does the, the swirly thing really well. It can also sound kind of like a, a computer garbling. <laughs> Any of our 
songs yet, but the the, the phaser style of this I, I have, and uh, it can be a little overbearing, but it's it's good if it's just placed in the right spot. So then from there I run into um, another staple of mine, which is the analog delay pedal. I was using a carbon copy for a while, but now I use uh, another solid gold uh, pedal called the Electro Man. I think it's a copy of the original Electro Harmonics Memory Man circuit. Um, with a couple added features. Uh, it's got this really cool uh, effect that I, I do use a lot, which is, I call it a whack the feedback, but it takes, it takes the feedback and self-oscillates itself. It's pretty neat, no matter where your knobs are. Then I run into yet another delay pedal, which is a tape echo from uh, Wampler. And I like, that's got a tap tempo on there, so I can do the... slow song, or a fast one, a simple, easy pedal. Then I run into a, a Caverns uh, Delay slash Reverb from Keeley, and I primarily use that one for reverb, because none of my amps have a good reverb circuit, so I got this thing, and um, it also has a delay on there, but if I run all the delays at once, um, kind of get this really weird, echoey thing. Yeah, from that I run into my amplifier. Oh, it's all powered by uh, a Walrus Audio uh, Phoenix power supply. On my pedal board that, I, that we tour with and we play live shows with, um, I have two of these mounted underneath because I have so many pedals that, that need power. And this thing's basically maxed out right now with all the stuff we have here. Uh, although one I didn't mention too was I have a full tone Super Trim. Um, I was going to use it today, but I decided not to. Uh, my, my, one of my main amps at home is a Framus Ruby Riot, and that thing has a built-in trim. And I kind of got used to using it for a few songs, but uh, we didn't really play them today, so um, I didn't have to engage it today. But it, it's there in case I have to. It's probably the best sounding trim on the market. Um, and from all this, uh, I'm running into a 1965 Fender Bandmaster uh, that used to be a head and now it's in a 212 combo. Um, I'm, I'm not where I'm not sure where the combo cabinet came from, but it, it looks to be period specific and vintage, um, and uh, it sounds amazing. It, it takes everything I throw at it. Like any of these pedals in conjunction, it just okay. Give me more. Oh, and couch guitar straps. Big shout out to couch. Thank you. These are color coordinated for all my guitar obsessions. So yeah, that's uh, that's my gear. That's that's what I use. Cool. Rock on, yeah.